we will see some examples related to the construction of a triangle when the length of all its three sides are given. In triangle EFG, EF is equal to 5.5 cm, FG is equal to 6.5 cm, GE is equal to 8 cm. Construct triangle EFG. Here, we have to construct triangle EFG. In triangle EFG, EF is equal to 5.5 cm, FG is equal to 6.5 cm and GE is equal to 8 cm. To construct triangle EFG, Step 1. First of all, on the basis of the measurements given, we will draw a rough figure of triangle EFG. This will give us a direction for construction. Step 2. Now, with the help of a scale, we will draw a line segment FG of length 6.5 cm. Step 3. From the measurements given, it is known that point F is at a distance of 5.5 cm from point E. So, with the help of a compass, we will measure a radius of 5.5 cm and draw an arc from point F. Point E is situated somewhere on this arc. Now, we have to find the position of point E on the arc. Step 4. We know that point G is at a distance of 8 cm from point E. Therefore, with the help of a compass, we will measure a radius of 8 cm and draw an arc from point G. Step 5. The two arcs intersect each other at point E. Now, we will join point E and point F. This is the side EF of triangle EFG. Similarly, we will also join point E and point G from which we get the side EG of triangle EFG. So, in this way we constructed triangle EFG in which EF is equal to 5.5 cm, FG is equal to 6.5 cm and GE is equal to 8 cm. Next example. In triangle LMN, LM is equal to 4.7 cm, MN is equal to 4.7 cm, NL is equal to 4.7 cm. So, can you tell what kind of triangle is triangle LMN? Construct triangle LMN. Here we have to construct triangle LMN. In triangle LMN, LM is equal to 4.7 cm, MN is equal to 4.7 cm and NL is equal to 4.7 cm. So, can you tell what type of triangle is triangle LMN? As is given in the question, the length of all the three sides of triangle LMN are the same. Therefore, it is an equilateral triangle. Let us now construct triangle LMN. Step 1. First of all, with the help of a scale, we will draw a line segment of length 4.7 cm. We will name the line segment as MN. Step 2. From the question, we know that point M is at a distance of 4.7 cm from point L. Now, taking a radius of 4.7 cm on the compass and taking point M as the centre, we will draw an arc. Point L is situated somewhere on this arc. We have to find the exact location of point L on the arc. Step 3. Point N is at a distance of 4.7 cm from point L. So, by taking a radius of 4.7 cm and taking point N as the centre, we will draw another arc. Step 4. We can see that both the arcs intersect each other at a point. We will name the point of intersection as L. Now, by joining the point L with point M and point N, we will complete the construction of triangle LMN. The desired equilateral triangle LMN is ready in which the length of LM, MN and NL is 4.7 cm. Today we saw examples of constructing a triangle when the length of all its three sides are given.